take something that's very uh, trademark for Minneapolis is most of them came with a front water tank up in front. This engine came out of a complete restoration very recently, and Dan has had this engine. This is uh, the third speed this engine's been in his home state of Minnesota. It's been to Forest City, Iowa, and now they're from Wisconsin all in the last year. Thank you, Dan. The next engine. This is a 1903 18 horse Minneapolis. This is one of the first direct blue engines built. It's a very early direct blue. You can tell by the round on that engine because she's spending her birthday here with her family uh, running steam engines and that's what this hobby's about. So happy birthday, Chloe. This is another rare engine and you won't find another double link. This is a Minneapolis return flue, 22 horsepower compound. This engine was built in 1899. This engine has had a complete restoration. There's actually two engines in existence. Uh, Jeff Knudsen, uh, of our Florida, bought the two remaining engines and put this engine together. So uh, this is a compound. We talked to the beginning of compound. So this is cylinder on the opposite side of the road. Cylinders over there. A high pressure cylinder is owned by Dale Noel out of Bangor, Wisconsin. Uh, this engine has been in Dale's family for many years. Dale purchased this engine back, it had been sold off, and Dale purchased this engine back recently. In the last several years, we brought it back to the family. Some of the things we can see on these later engines, you can see the start of the engine running. Um, it will pull the fire out of the firebox and put it up the stack and start to step on fire.
Wilson bringing up some fuel for the steam engines just in case somebody runs out of wood. I guess we're going to stop an emergency reload. International 2000 forklift that's uh, owned by the club. Number 86.
not the least bit nervous, and he did check the gas. A couple years ago, they had a true co-op, 1937 model. That was before World War II, so that saw plenty of action during World War II, I'm sure. Just as pretty as can be. You be careful, some girls are going to be chasing you down the parking lot with that.
Wildwood, Illinois. Okay. Janesville, Wisconsin, and Scott Willie is a uh, driver. Oh, Dave Willie is a driver today. Okay. There again, you've got one of the tractors from the 50s that was really, really well engineered and lasted a long, long time. So I'd say he did an outstanding job. Give that kid a hand, will you? Thanks for bringing that tractor. We appreciate it. John Deere, 820 Weeban. Glenn Super. Say how many of them? 4020 or yeah, 4020. Cylinders it was made. Thank you for 
six, Massey Ferguson, 150 horse, a day's work. 856 Custom, 100 horsepower, Kitzville is the odd. Enjoy. 